Hi guys, so we're back on the field today. A lot less wind as you can hear. Um, we, we had an early start this morning because the guys who were doing all our, well, some of the ground works and the borehole and the sewage and that sort of thing have offered to take down our old barn for us, the steel cow shed at the back, which we have to remove as part of our uh, conditions of buying the property. Um, it had to happen pretty soon. So lucky for us, they said yes to it and uh, they're taking it away now so it's going to take a little while because it's a huge structure and they at the moment are just doing it with a couple of crowbars <clears throat> while they wait for some heavy machinery to dig a access path um, but hopefully they'll get a good start on it and we'll actually be able to see light through through the uh, barn and be able to work out the proper dimensions of the place for the first time ever um, so i've set up a little time lapse camera down there just to capture what they're doing and hopefully it'll actually be enough work today that it won't be just a video of a couple of panels missing and uh, yeah we'll, we'll keep you posted on the barn coming down and hopefully it will brighten the place up a bit so here we have the first section of barn down it really opens up the view that's the steel they took away those are just old barn doors from the previous barn that was here I think or from the garage possibly you can see the level, the level of the ground here. Well, that's a window there. That's a interior window. So the ground level should be here. So we're gonna have to dig a lot out of there. Luckily, we just found out one of our neighbors needs some hardcore. So hopefully they'll take a lot of that off us. A couple of trees we've taken down, we've had to take down. So we originally took down the trees here. We took down a couple of trees there, but we've just taken down three more trees from here to free it up to there, which should give us enough space. Give me some perspective. There you go. So up to up to this line here. So that'll be our garden view. Straight out onto the field. So this is the barn, minus most of the cow shed. Still a few bits up. But you actually can see the length of the barn now. It's cool. This little bit of wall here. Pretty shitty, that'll have to come down anyway. Nice stone along the back there. I've never been able to see this stone here. Whoa. A little bit muddier than it used to be. Cool. It's a nice array of machinery as well. So we got there. <coughs> this is their cherry picker. That's their cherry picker they've been getting up there with. That's their digger. generator that's bigger than the one I'll be getting but similar what have we got over here <clears throat> oh man it's a forklift it fucking destroyed the rest of the field though or well, the rest of the entrance that's fun lots of steel down over there I'm guessing at least Losing those pallets then. Oh dear. Sorry, I am incredibly tired. It's been a long few days. Oh, a little cheeky tractor over there. There's a lot of equipment. There's no way I could have done this on my own. Well, I knew I wouldn't be able to take the steels down, but I thought I could probably get the skin off on my own. Exciting. This is our garden. <clears throat> yeah, cool. So the cow shed is now gone, completely gone. You've got the whole garden is opened up to us now. So we can get a sense of how big it's going to be. We can actually see the whole building end to end. Although all the way up to the end of that section there so we're going to extend the roof out for the kitchen it's a pretty decent size 
you, we can see it from the front but it's just weirdly seems more real from the back because it's not covered in openings it's obviously the height here is nowhere near the depth we need so we're gonna have to come down to the depth of the front of the property which you can see is way down sort of here so we're gonna have to cut out a good meter probably well worst case a meter a nice combination of tar and concrete poured over slate and asbestos which is absolutely delightful You can get all the way up into the corner now. The view of the field behind, that's going to be really nice. You actually see the field from behind. So standing here is pretty much this this window here. There's a window behind there. It's, you can just see the glass poking through possibly. So there's going to be about here will be a glass door cut out. So that our view from the living room will look out from there. And we'll have a decking and stuff here. And that will be our view there. It's a lot, well, there's a lot of uh, green here, which is just coming out dark. But once that ivy's all been cleared and we've got a proper stone wall there, it'll be lovely. Just have to deal with that little pile of earth there.